Hi, I'm Steve Ginsberg from TriArt Manufacturing. I'm the president of the company. Um, today I'm going to show you how to put together our new 60mm tube display. And this is unrehearsed, so here we go. Um, back piece, okay. First off, there's a little dimple here, that's the bottom, okay. Side pieces, upright. We're going to open it up. So exacto knife is handy. <laughs> the hardest part is to take the plastic off. Here. Okay. So with the grooves on the inside, the bottom has this nice arch here with the one hole, two holes on the top. So left and right. And right. So I think the easiest way to do it is standing up at first. So what you're going to do is take these hinges and just clip them into the back of the board. Okay? So I'm going to stand that side up so you can see. The other side. Also clip them in and down. Next, again, you're almost together already. Now come the um, hanging parts. So again, we have to cut this open the knife. So maybe that's a good way to do it there. Okay. Magic. Okay. So what you'll notice is there's numbers in pencil written in the corners here. This is, says number three. There will be tissue between each one to protect the uh, swatches. So three, two, and should be number one is here in its own special plastic for some reason. I'll take that out. Okay. So in this case, you like to start at the bottom and work your way up. So the bottom piece is solid like this, and you'll notice there's a cut groove in the metal. So what you'll do is fold this over, okay, and again, maybe this is actually easier. What I would do is just fold it a little past half so you have an angle more like this, and you'll see why in a moment. I also recommend to put the bottom in first. This is the, the little tweakier part, and then once the bottom's in, the rest go in really easily. So to get the bottom in, I'm going to lie it on its back. And now just slide it through the grooves. And the reason I said to tilt it in is there's a little lip in the wood. You want to get past that lip of the wood and then you should, and it helps if you have a larger table than I have, you should get a really positive snap. See? Snap in, which locks, locks it in. And then on the back, there's a little bone-like shape that clips in the back here. So now, really solid already. Okay? Well, the next you'll do, and we're going to work from the bottom up, so we don't want number one. Might be good to actually pre-fold these and leave them in the order you're going to put them in so you don't make the mistake. So again, folding it over, you go a little past half. That's number one, so that's the last one I want. Number two, okay, see, out of order already. Number two, I'm going to fold that one. The deal is you don't want to keep folding it and folding and folding and folding it. Then they'll split. So really try to just fold it and you're good to go, okay? That's number two. And then number three. Okay, so we'll put three in next. So what I'm going to do is, and then the bottom shelf goes in this way but the hanger goes in um, with this facing up, okay? So we'll slide it in through the grooves, really easy. And then I'm gonna lie it on its back, pushing this in to miss the wooden lip. And then again, you'll hear a snap, right? Really nice, locks in the back, and then pop the back. And then you just repeat it until it's done. Down again, 
Snap. And then the last one. is it. Um, there's the header, which is also in plastic. <laughs> uh, get that one out. Okay, so the header just fits in like this, in the groove, and we're done. Tubes, which actually maybe I should have set up before I did that, but I luckily had some here. Um, our new J-Box Mini, tube goes out, and just hangs in the display. It will hold six tubes deep. We have a slight um, covering here to keep this the display as low as possible. It also helps them from falling out. Okay, so very clean. Now, if you have this is one single display that holds 36. TriArt's finest quality line comes in 109 colors. I hope that's right. <laughs> and so what you would and may want to do is fit pieces together. Okay? So if that's the case, I'm going to put this down for a moment. And I'll pick up this display that I put together earlier. We're going to call this one the bottom. Okay? And you'll see there's this funny thing in the corner here. And there should be another one. Yep. This will be in the box. You only use these if you're going to stack the displays. So if you do this display side by side, you would put your headers on each display side by side. But if you're going to stack them, and they are designed to either be side by side or stack, and you can stack them three high, or you can probably go 20 high if you have the ceiling space. Um, you put these little brackets on. <laughs> put them on the side, and with a Robertson screwdriver, Great Canadian invention. Um, put this, screw these in the side. So I'll turn it slightly. And well, I can do it finger tight at first. Okay. Okay. And now. And then you would tighten with the screwdriver. I would tighten it down till it's completely flush. This is somebody's display, so I don't want to do that to it right now. I don't want to overstress the wood too much, but I'll just slightly tighten. Okay. And now it's ready to accept the top piece. Like this. And it will just slide over. Oh, there's still the screw in on this side. Hang on literally just fits in like this okay and and then screws in and this one's the side pieces I'm using are for another display I just discovered sorry but it sits really nice and snug. I've done this before. It just should have pre-done that. Remember, unrehearsed. Um, so anyways, the screws go in the side, and you've got a very solid, complete display. Um, and if you have any questions, contact our um, information. Our 800 number is 888-541-0299. Um, my extension is 7. Or Charlena's extension is um, 213. Thank you. So, first YouTube demo of our displays. I hope you enjoyed it. Right, good luck with it, and uh, I hope you think this is quite a nice uh, new addition to our line. Thank you.